Hello Glamours and welcome back to my channel and if you are new to my channel thank you so much for stopping by now don't forget to click on the subscribe button and then the notification bell for more upcoming DIY future videos. For this DIY, I'll be creating two home decor using clear plastic egg holders, an entryway table, and a wall mirror decor. If you would like to find out what I created, just continue watching. The first DIY, I'll be creating the entryway table, and I'll start by using clear plastic egg holders, and I'll be using the ones without the label and the 3D pattern inside, and I'll be using six in total. Next I'll be using foam board and I'll start with three egg holders and I'll place them on the edge of the foam board flat face down. The last egg holder I'll be cutting it to fit the foam board. Next I'll take my long ruler and I'll draw a straight line down cutting it 9.5 by 30. I cut two of the same size. For the remainder of this DIY, I'll be using my strongest glue sticks. Next, I'll be applying hot glue on the flat side of the egg holders and placing them on my foam board. On the last egg holder, I had to measure and cut to fit the foam board. I repeated the same steps and made two. And don't forget to follow me on my social media platforms, link below. Next, I took another foam board and cut to size, and I also took three plastic clear egg holders, and I cut them to size to fit the foam board, and then I'll be gluing them on, repeating the same steps. Next, I'll be using packaging cardboard corner borders, and these are very strong and they also feel like wood. Next, I'll be taking measurements and I'll be cutting them 30 inches long each. I had these borders that came in a box from a TV I purchased, but you may also find these at your local Home Depot. Next, I'll be using this handsaw that comes with a cutting guide, and I'll be using this to cut my borders. Next, I'll take all my borders and I'll place them, and then I'll start cutting them for an even cut. Next, I'll bring back my first foam board and I'll start gluing my borders on each side of the foam board using my strongest adhesive glue and hot glue to hold it in place. I repeated the same steps on the second one. I have a bunch of these borders saved up and I'll be using one to hold my both sides together. I'll be placing another one on the back side to hold the back side together. 
Once I have them both in position, I'll be using hot glue to hold them in place and then I'll go back with my strongest adhesive glue. Next, I'll bring back my smaller foam board cutout and I'll be gluing it in the front and on the sides of the table. This table turned out very strong and sturdy. I also cut pieces of the plastic egg holder and glued them on the top corner edges and on the front. Once that was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. For the center shelf of the table, I took foam board and I cut it 9 by 28 and I cut three pieces and glued them together. And I repeated the same steps for the table top, 12 by 32 and glued three pieces together as well. I also took self-adhesive foil contact paper and I covered both of my boards. And to hang my shelf in the center, I use corner brackets and I screw them on both sides of inside the table. And I spray painted the brackets in gold. I also used two remote LED touch lights and I glued them inside on the upper side of the table for lighting. For the second DIY, I'll be creating a wall mirror decor and I'll start off with two egg holders and a foam bar cut to size. And I'll be repeating the same gluing steps. I repeated the same steps and made a second one. Once I was done, I took it to a well ventilated area and spray painted two coats of metallic gold. I took an 8x10 self adhesive mirror and because the base is not flat, I added hot glue for a better hold and then I placed it in the center of the wall decor. I also used two self adhesive mirror onlay cutouts and these have a protective film in the front and adhesive back. And I placed one on the, above the mirror and one below the mirror. And everything you see here, I'll have a link below. I made two of these and I'll repeat the same steps on the second wall decor. To hang both wall decors, I used paper butterfly clips and I removed the clips and I glued them on the back side of each decor and I leveled it up with a pencil to make it easier to hang. I also took three mirror onlay cutouts and I glued them on the upper side of the front of the table. And here is the finished looks. I really do love the way this table turned out and the wall decor to match it just makes it all stand out even better. These are very unique pieces but a modern retro vibe. And let's not forget the beautiful lighting for that special area or room in your home. Who would have ever known just by taking egg carton holders, you could end up with beautiful home decor. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this DIY as much as I enjoyed creating it. Now don't forget, I post new DIY videos every week. Like and share with family and friends and subscribe if you haven't. Comment if you wish. Turn on your notification bells for more upcoming future videos. I'll see you on my next DIY upload.